Over the past 10 years, Kilauea Volcano has erupted in two places, the summit and Pu'u'o'o. On April 17, 2018, USGS scientists observed increased pressure of the magma system beneath Pu'u'o'o. This caused the crater floor of Pu'u'o'o to rise. Kilauea's summit also went through a period of increased inflation. On April 26, the lava lake overflowed onto Hale Ma'u Ma'u crater floor at the summit. On April 30th, the crater floor of Pu'u'o'o collapsed. Two days after the collapse of Pu'u'o'o, the summit lava lake began to drop. After the collapse of Pu'u'o'o, USGS scientists detected a series of earthquakes moving east, signaling an intrusion of magma along the middle and lower east rift zone. The first fissure opened along the lower east rift zone in a residential subdivision called Leilani Estates. Between May 3rd and May 6th, Ten fissures opened in the lower East Rip zone. By May 15th, the number of fissures increased to 20. On May 19th, lava flow fronts formed and moved towards the ocean to the southeast. On May 29th, vigorous lava flows from Fissure 8 began to move northeast towards Kapoho Bay. Over the next month, lava from Fissure 8 continued to flow towards the ocean, creating a large lava delta. This delta and other ocean entries created about 875 acres of new land. As the summit subsided and adjusted to withdrawal of magma, powerful earthquakes and ash explosions grew more frequent. The largest earthquake was magnitude 6.9 on May 4th at 12.32 p.m. The largest ash plume rose 30,000 feet above sea level on May 17th at 4.17 a.m. By June, the caldera floor began to rapidly collapse. dramatically changing the summit landscape throughout June and July. From May through August, more than 80,000 earthquakes rocked the summit with 62 major collapse explosions. As a result, the depth of Hale Ma'u Ma'u crater increased 
from 280 feet to approximately 1,600 feet, and the diameter more than doubled. By early August, the volume of lava erupting from Fissure 8 began to decrease, and the earthquakes at the summit grew less frequent. Even though the eruption events shown in this video appear to have slowed, it is difficult to know if they have ended. As of September 2018, lava flows covered 13.7 square miles of land. Over 700 homes have been destroyed, and approximately 2,000 people have been displaced. Many places within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park are transformed by these events. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park thanks all residents and visitors of Hawaii for their continued cooperation and understanding as the park continues to recover.